Hi guys, we're out in my garage. I've got some Wilco lacquer spray. Ideal for creative hobbies and crafting. Quick dry and easy to use interior and exterior. What we're looking at is can we spray those card um, white wings planes that I've been making without it warping the card. So rather than ruin one of the planes, I've got this piece of card which comes from one of the planes and we'll just spray it and see what happens. This is to stop them getting wet when we fly them on wet grass. Spray in well ventilated area. Avoid overspray. Oh, always use the can at room temperature, 21 degrees centigrade. Well, it's going to be a bit colder than that, I'm afraid. Because it's December, no it isn't, it's January the 3rd. So it's probably not much above freezing. It won't be getting up to 21 degrees centigrade for months. <laughs> yeah, that ain't going to happen. So, well, this is all we can do at the moment, is just try it. Don't even know how we get this top off. It's got some special release there. I don't think I've ever used this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it's probably, <laughs> like everything else I use, probably a few years old. Doesn't appear to have a date on it. Oh, down the bottom. 1910-18. So it's probably two years old. Right, well, we'll just leave that and come back. Does it give a drying time? Recoat within one hour or after 24 hours. Best results, several lighter coats, allowing 10 to 15 minutes between each coat. Well, we'll just leave that and find out. Well, I've let the first coat dry for... About 15 minutes. Doesn't appear to have walked. I'll just give the back side a spray as well. Come back again in another 15 minutes. Well, that's a light coat on both sides. Looks okay. It doesn't appear to have warped significantly. There's a little bit of a curve there, but that might have been there before. So give it a, another layer on both sides well one side at a time
back later. Right, that was the second coat on that side, and that has curved a bit. Because you'll still be able to say this isn't a fair test because it's too cold out here. But you can see it's beginning to soak in the card's gone a darker colour. Looks to me like we might have got away with a single coat. But the second coat's allowing it to go a bit soft. Still, we'll carry on. I don't think I'll give it any more coats, but I'll let it dry out thoroughly. Yeah, I'll let it dry out overnight or something. Well, I suppose I could say good morning, guys. I left this overnight. And it appears to have flattened out again. Doesn't have any significant uh, curve to it. I mean, there's a bit of a curve, but... That could well have been the card before we started, rather than it's actually warped up due to the um, lacquer causing it to warp. So, that looks okay. It might be worth trying it on one of the planes now. See how it gets on. That's two light coats of spray. The only thing is, I think it probably wants a third one. So you look at it, you can see it's not a smooth, shiny surface all over. But it might be worth a try. Try one of the planes. So we will see. Just a extra bit of information. I keep saying there's no instructions in that. Um, kit that I'm following, but there is an instruction book in one of the other kits So this is from the future flight series and if we flick through We do actually find it says Lacquer can be brushed on or sprayed on So they do suggest using it If your paper plane is coated with lacquer it will become water resistant Therefore, when it lands on wet grass, if you quickly wipe the water off with a soft cloth, you are ready for another flight. For preserving the beauty of the white paper, clear lacquer is good. But if you want to have your plane to be a different colour, you can colour use coloured lacquer. It doesn't matter whether you spray it or paint it, but in order to keep the plane light and preserve its balance and centre of gravity, be careful to coat the plane as thinly and evenly as possible. So, in the assembly instructions, it does tell you you can use lacquer. They're quite extensive, these instructions. There's uh, 64 pages, I think. 65 pages. Lots of hints and tips on how to fly them, how to throw them. How to trim them, center of gravity, all that sort of thing. Very extensive book or booklet. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description.
If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.